Hey, what is up guys? My name is Rick and welcome to a real quick NVIDIA Shadow Play tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing guys how to change the cache and the video save folders for NVIDIA Shadow Play. Um, so first things first, all you have to do is uh, make sure that you actually have an NVIDIA graphics card in your system. If you do, perfect, this tutorial is just for you. Uh, then navigate to the uh, GeForce Experience panel. You can do that by going down at your desk bar here, right clicking on the NVIDIA icon and press NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you have an NVIDIA card but you don't have NVIDIA GeForce Experience, I'm gonna have a link down uh, in the description for the uh, NVIDIA drivers and the GeForce Experience application. From here, all you have to do is navigate up to the little cog wheel up here. This is the settings bar. And open up a page like this with all your uh, rig information and all this jazz here. From here, all you need to be worrying about is the in-game overlay. Make sure that it's on and then press on settings and then navigate your way down to the recordings. Now it might say stop recording to change these settings. That's normal if you have uh, instant replay on. If you have instant replay on, just press on it and turn it off and then go back to the settings using the cog wheel on the side there. Go to recordings and from here you can access the temporary files which is the cache uh, and the videos folder. All you have to do to change the settings for the temporary files or the videos folder is press on these three dots next to where it says the directory and pressing that arrow if you want to change between the drives. The way to change the videos folder is the same as for temporary files. It's the same exact way. It's quite nice and easy to do. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend putting the cache folder somewhere on an SSD which is not being accessed whilst you are playing a video game or whilst you are using your operating system. So it should be separate from your operating system and game. Uh, drive and that's it that's how you change the drive on which you can store your temporary and video files in GeForce Shadow Play hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you if it was please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot if you have any questions or suggestions for any future videos or whatever then leave those in the comment section down below and as always don't forget to subscribe